so in this video we are going to make some more changes to our object page so currently our object page looks like something like this where in our last video we have added this table which shows student academic results okay and uh, we have also added the crude capabilities to this table so when you click on this you see these details and uh, you can edit and uh, you get all of these details available here so what we are going to do is we will be adding an f4 help here the value help and uh, to all of these three controls and along with that uh, we also be adding the additional bindings so as soon as you change the values in this field using f4 help this short description will be updated so let's make some more changes to the application so for that let's open our uh, eclipse and uh, very first thing which we need to do is or uh, the only thing which we need to do is we need to enhance or make some more changes to our metadata extension file so this is what our metadata extension file is the very first field in our object page is a course field so let's add the value help to course field and uh, that can be done using at the rate consumption annotation dot and uh, value help definition oh. so we will be adding the entity and uh, the entity name would be this is what our entity name which returns all the course names okay so we will be adding zi underscore course underscore 5000 and uh, the element where the value will be available so it is value so from where this field we are getting is from this value this is the field which we are showing there because this will have the value e or c for e com c computers and e electronics so this is what we want to show on to the screen when the f4 value is selected and uh, then what we need to do is we need to show the additional bindings as well so as soon as user selects the value from f4 we need to show the description onto the other fields so for that we use additional binding and then the local element where you want to show so we want to show the description on this field and uh, then what is the actual element which contains this value or the description so this is the field where the description is available so we will pick up this and put it here okay so our course is done now let's copy this quickly and uh, second thing which we need to add here is the semester consumption and our entity name is for semester it is scm 5000 so scm 5000 this will be same this will be same and the local element would be semester description let's change it now again copy and put it to your third field which is semester result so sem and res is the entity name and the local field is this one 
okay now activate and uh, that's it everything is done now open your app go back and refresh once so now our app is loaded let's click on the new surname this record and click on create here you go so you now get f4 help on all of these three controls let's select one so we got our values loaded from the domain let's select computers and you see here this short description is automatically getting updated here so now if i select electronics e and it got updated here okay now similarly let's select the semester four so semester four description you got here and then the status so status is pass and it got updated okay so this one is uh, showing as a text box let's see how we can make this text box just like a label here so first let's create and our record got created go back and here you go you see all of the details available here okay so now the last thing is we need to change the text box to a label and uh, for that we need to go to behavior definition so where is behavior definition is here okay and uh, what was that field so that field was what was that field that was the last field it was semester result description so pick up this value and we want to show this as a read only just come here and make it read only read only and provide the name semicolon activate it is activated and everything is done now refresh go back and uh, now click on this and click on edit here you go so now you are seeing a read only field here okay let's make some change here make it current so you got the current value and save it got saved and you got the data so that's all for now in this video and if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you